Hi YouTubers. Okay, what we have here is a magnesium battery. In terms of cleanliness, ease of setup, uh, it's a good one. I'm actually developing uh, gel polyelectrolytes, but what I have basically set up in a beaker, it took all of about five minutes, I have a rod of magnesium. I didn't even polish the surface of it to remove oxide. You can get them on eBay, these rods of magnesium. They're, they're not that expensive. And uh, I have a ball of steel wool. And I have it tucked inside Velcro. And uh, you, where do you get that? Well, uh, look for hair curlers on eBay. Real large size hair curlers. That'll work just fine. So shove the ball of steel wool inside the insulator, which is your uh, Velcro. Put it in the beaker, and uh, this is a 400 milliliter beaker. Distilled water, Epsom salt, the magnesium sulfate hydrate is in there as electrolyte, and uh, that's it. Okay, well let's see what the voltage is. I'll just touch that uh, magnesium. Getting about 1.07. It varies between 107 and 1.1, and I should polish the magnesium. I've had it laying there, probably has a, no doubt. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. See, it's not as clean as it could be. And, of course, that's going to be forming magnesium uh, hydroxide. But uh, I should even insulate it a lot better than this. Um, and I can put the piece of paper towel around that magnesium but steel wool. Now let's get you the short circuit. That's the open voltage and uh, I'll go to the 200 milliamp scale and we'll see what we get. That's not bad. 37, 38. That's pretty good milliamperage for uh, a small cell like this. 39. It's going up. 40. That's pretty good. In terms of setup, it's wonderful. And uh, occasionally you polish that surface of magnesium. And uh, I'll be looking at this very carefully with uh, gel, as I mentioned, gel uh, polyelectrolytes, particularly from chitosan and carboxymethyl uh, starch. I'll keep you posted on what's going on here. I like that current. I like it a lot. It's pretty good. Okay. Maybe uh, you'll try your hand at this. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.